Good morning. How can we find hope in trouble when life goes bad, when suddenly something throws us completely off kilter? It's been a time recently when hope's been in short supply. Trouble just keeps on coming. And the Bible tells of times of trouble, times of no hope, of danger and fear. And even Jesus knew times of danger and fear. So Jesus in his, and his disciples, that's his followers, were getting in a boat, going about their normal business. Many of the disciples were fishermen. They were well acquainted with the Sea of Galilee and sailing a boat in general. You could say that they were certainly more skilled in sailing and fishing than they were in being a follower of Jesus. So they all got in the boat with the intention of crossing the lake, which is about eight miles wide. Jesus fell asleep. Then a squall, a storm came up from nowhere threatening to swamp the boat and drown everybody in it. These hardened, very experienced fishermen, the ones with all the sailing skills, were sure they were going to drown and everyone in the boat. We can only imagine how awful the storm was then. So they woke Jesus, they shouted at him over the sound of the storm, Master, Master, we're going to drown. Jesus was their only hope. They'd reached the end of their own skill set, substantial as it was. They'd tried everything else. So they called on Jesus. They asked for his help. Jesus got up, told the wind and the water to be still. And the storm became quiet. The disciples were amazed. They wondered who Jesus was that could quiet the wind and the waves, change the weather. They recognised that he was someone who could give them life and hope, even though they were facing death. So we've made a boat out of paper. I thought it might be a great idea that when I need help, I should pray and I should write a note of that prayer and the date. Something like perhaps, help with my temper, Lord. Help me when people are being unkind to me, to just love them. I thought it might be a good idea to leave the prayer in the boat. And then when things become quieter and you find resolution or you're healed or your life's changed, give thanks to God. Take the prayer out. And put in a note that says thank you. Recognise God's power in your life. I pray that your boat will be full of notes of praise and thanks as well as prayers. Because there's so much power in prayer.